Good morning, folks. This is Jacob Fold, your artist sculptor, and today we're going to make a little uh, fairy tree house, I think. Tree fairy house, something like that. I'm going to start off with a little ball of clay, and uh, I have a yogurt lid on that I'm working on here. Just going to put that little mound there on there. I've got a shape like this, and the way I achieve that is I just take uh, the, the clay and roll it between the palms of my hands like this. I can roll it to and fro, and then it'll create little cone shapes like that, see? Very easy to do. Now this is going to be the beginning of the tree. When I join two pieces of clay, I'm going to take my tool and wet it. And I'm going to score where the uh, where the piece is going to go. And then I'm going to score this where it's going to go like that. And this, you know, using a wet tool like that, it creates something called slip, which is like glue. And, and then when you join the two pieces, they kind of interlock like that. So we just uh, you know, apply it like that. And, uh, and you got a tree started. And then uh, we can add uh, another piece to it. That and you know, just put it right on here, score and join it. <laughs> like that. <laughs> and, uh, let's try to blend it in. That's a start. And bring this down like that and, and make it uh, fun looking, eh? <laughs> I think I'll bring the tree over like this and then I have tilt it back and uh, form it to make it, you know, kind of a. It's a fantasy tree, you know, so. <laughs> another piece here. I don't think I want that big, so I'm just going to snip a little bit off. <laughs> I'd like my tool to be clean. If it's clean, it's sharp. It's going to be a lot more effective if it's uh, nice and sharp. Clay and just beef that up a little bit. That's not too bad like that. Now we can uh, get little bits of clay and roll little shapes like. Uh, Little cone shape like this, and uh, we can make roots. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's roll another one like that and put it on. Mm 
just trying to shape it and get it to where I want it to be. Just keep on adding to the uh, roots here. around and put another root on the back side. Forming it and shaping it. That's so nice, like that. And uh, I can take like uh, a tool like this and carve in a door, maybe. Eh? Now what I'm going to do is take a, I'm just going to carve that out a little bit, I'm going to carve that out. You can take like a little ball tool like this and just smooth it out in there. I <laughs> like that and then what I'll do is uh, I'll take a small bit of clay and roll a shape about that size for the door. Make sure it fits. <clears throat> See how it fits. Yeah, I think that'll fit. Okay. So I want it to go in there real nice and What I'll do is I'll take a, my sculpting tool <laughs> and I'm just going to put in lines <laughs> which kind of looks like the door is made up of wood planks, you know, like that. that and there like that and then uh, yeah take a little uh, ball of clay like this and uh, score it all right little doorknob That's fun. And then uh, I can take like a ball tool like this and just kind of press in here and make a little window. I 
that car back in a little bit. Oh, it's fun though. It's a fun little thing. And uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah maybe it calls for some stairs because you know it's up way to get to that door. I'll take a little piece of clay like that. Score it here. Score when it's gonna go. Get nice and wet. Yep, I set my doorknob. Gonna go with a little step on there too. Stairs. A <clears throat> piece here. For the, uh, you definitely want to be doing the scoring and everything if you can. Because, uh, you really want to make it, you know, build it to last, you know. And uh, that's a surefire way to do it. That. That'll be our last stair. And I'll go on there like that. And so pick it up from here. You can go underneath like this and blend that in to make it more solid. Yeah, that's not looking too bad. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep on working on the roots, I guess. And Peace. Let's put a little roof extension on there. And you see, it's not, it's not hard to do this. I mean, just, you can see, uh, because it's, uh, you know, using simple shapes of clay, it makes it very obtainable, you know. Most anyone can do this without a problem. Like to pay attention to the bat too. You don't want to. You want to move around the entire sculpture, turn it, and look at it from all directions, and work it from all directions. And Get 
get some more clay here and do another root. Now, one thing you can do, I, I do recommend, is uh, I have this uh, glass plus bottle filled with water, and I'm going to squirt the sculpture in my source tray. <laughs> I just keep it moist while I'm working. Doorknobs having a hard time there. I like to do then is I I like to take a ball tool and uh, you know put some texture in. <laughs> and that's a it's a nice nice way to kind of. Uh, smooth the clay, but you know, adding this really uh, kind of this pretty <laughs> bark lines, or whatever you want to call it. I don't really like how this door is working out here. I'm going to take it off for a minute. And I'm just going to uh, kind of sink this back in here a little bit deeper. Like that. The nice thing about clay is you can, you can change your mind. that and <clears throat> just kind of shaping it to fit in there Like it better that way. And then I'm going to put my lines in. Just basically pressing into the clay to kind of create that little. <clears throat> little wood door, yeah. And then I'll try to add, add the doorknob again. The best thing to do is get it nice and 
nice and wet. <laughs> and it's a water wash, like blue, you know. <laughs> I'm on doing it out there, but oh god. <laughs> that's a not agreeable, that's for sure. <laughs> That's a little bit better, yeah. Let's add a little bit of clay here. Adding little shoots of roots. Maybe take my tool and I carve in. Maybe add a little bit of clay here to bring out that step some. That's a little bit better. It's kind of just adding little details and I do try to use my fingers as much as possible. I don't use tools a whole lot because um, the the human hand is an amazing tool in itself, and I really do try to use it as much as possible. Use my hand hands as much as possible. Definitely want to score that. <laughs> and, uh, get a ball tool and see if you can support. The branches with your hand is, you know. If you uh, clean the tool off a little bit, you know, keep it, keep it fairly clean, it's going to do a better job for you.
It's not bad. Now, <clears throat> what you can do is, uh, is, you know, do your texture and I uh, uh, do little different things like uh, little swirls on the steps and bring it that way a little bit. I think that's getting there, though. <laughs> then what I'd like to do is uh, take a, a small paintbrush and just go in and Kind of smooth it a little bit. And then uh, you get to a point where you like it, you can just let it dry. I just like to make sure it's, I mean, it's a little rough back here for sure. Yeah, you can let it air dry, and uh, it'll probably take about a day to dry. And then we'll put, come back and put a finish on it. Okay, we're back, and uh, the tree is dry. I want to cover a few things, so a few things that you should know about sculpting clay, just to make sure you know about it. Um, if you're clay is drying out now you want to keep it moist while you're working so you like I, like I was showing you I was spraying it with the water you can also do that with a paintbrush with water on it um, but if it does perhaps dry out on you you can take like a cloth or a paper towel wet and wrap it around it and put it in a plastic bag for a little while and it'll come back so that's one thing you can do um, when you take it off the base, you want to check underneath it. And if I filled them all in already, but if you see any gaps underneath there, you want that all to be filled in. Um, and if you have any holes or gaps going around the sculpture, you should uh, take a little bit of clay and fill them in. And uh, yeah, so. Um, so we're going to do a finish on this, and uh, part of the process is to seal it. You need to prime it with something. I'm going to use Golden GAC 100 acrylic primer and extender. It's just something I use around my shop a lot. I have a lot of uses for it, and uh, but you know, it's it is a Golden's product, and it's 
a little bit expensive. So uh, there are alternatives. You can um, use other primers, but it's it's going to be a better looking finish if you prime it. Um, it's not going to look as good if you don't. So you should give it a few coats and we'll come back. Part of the process is to paint the piece black. And I'm just using house paint, but you can use like whatever. This black paint will be fine. But the thing you want to make sure is that you get the whole thing covered. That you work it into all the details, <clears throat> all the nooks and crannies. Look at it from all directions and get it all covered. Maybe do two or three coats on it. And then when that's done, we'll come back. Okay, we're back and uh, we're going to be using a product called Pearl X Pigments. And we're going to be using silver, antique bronze, and reflex violet. <laughs> and now I, I am going to be using a DIC 100 again. Now this is a clear acrylic product that is very good. Uh, you know, you're going to need something to put it on, so hopefully you'll find something you can use. What I do is I get a little bit of the GIC 100 on my brush, like that. You can dip it right into the bronze, it doesn't muck it up. And then you want to dab it off a little bit, just to kind of get it loose, loose on the brush. And then just, uh, uh, you know, do the tree in bronze. And as you can see, it's oh so gorgeous. Now for me, I kind of like to uh, just uh, have like an antique uh, look. I'm not really looking to make it, you know, super bright. So I'm just kind of lightly brushing it so that some of the black will shine, shine too. <laughs> if you're wondering, if you don't paint it black, you are not going to get this effect. I've seen people mess around with, you know, having it white and not painting it black. It doesn't work. <laughs> you got to paint it black first. For the colors to stand out like this. Oh, it's pretty though, <laughs> really pretty. Okay, all right. Now I think uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean my brush really, really good. And then I'm gonna get some silver. I get a little bit of acrylic on my brush. I dab that off a little bit. And you can dab on the table or cloth or just something. I, there's so much clay on my table. I just didn't want to get that mixed up in the uh, finish. So I just want to dab it off and kind of subdue it a little bit. And then I'm going to paint the uh, stones, the stepping stones. Silver. <laughs> yeah, that works. And then, uh, then I'm going to get my reflex violet. And oh, the acrylic. 
little bit of reflex violet. I'll dab it off. Get to relax a little bit. Yeah, it's just right for the purple door. <laughs> Looks pretty good like that. Uh, the inside of the window. <laughs> Clean off my brush really, really good. A bit of acrylic. A little bit of pewter, or silver, we call it pewter sometimes. And paint the doorknob silver. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, and uh, yeah, um, that's about it. I uh, hope you like this kind of content. I have about 500 tutorials on my channel. I do, um, mm, <clears throat> Sculpture, painting, jewelry making, all kinds of things like that. And, uh, yeah, it's, um, uh, yeah. So, so, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, feel free to binge watch. And, uh, I think that's about it. Uh, if you make something like this, I would love to see it. Please send me a photo. And, uh. Uh, please also, uh, all the contact information will be down below the video in the video description. And, uh, yeah, let's see, uh, give the video a like, share it with your friends, leave a comment or question, say hi, say thanks, say you liked it or you didn't or whatever, and whatever you say, I will reply, I promise. I'm really going to try anyways. Um, and that's about it. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support and have a great day. Bye-bye.